this is Artifacts of Mars, and we have a new one where uh, some people are telling us that we're seeing a mushroom cloud on Mars as if there had been a nuclear explosion. I'll bring the photo up. Uh, this isn't NASA, this is uh, India, their space program. So, I went over the uh, photo and uh, I'll be honest with you, I uh, don't agree. But I'll show you why in a minute. This is going to surprise you. Uh, this is UK Daily Mail, one of my favorite news sites. Uh, Here's a photo, it kind of looks like a mushroom cloud, kind of doesn't. There are three parts to it, but I got intrigued when I, uh... I'll show you, um... I saw this dark area, first I thought it was shadow. But, you're going to see in a few couple of minutes so it's not shadow at all. Uh, what are the authorities saying about Dr. John D. Horner, astronomer at the University of Southern Queensland, Australia, told the Express, Express UK, uh, funds and would be to imagine that this is nuclear evidence of nuclear weapons on Mars. That's sadly not just not the case. Sadly, he said we're looking at images of the cl cloud where an optical illusion caused by the angle of the crater with trench. Theory that an ancient civilization on Mars was. Wiped out by a nuclear attack from another alien race is popular among conspiracy theories. Theorists. Yeah, it's popular with me too. I do think there was uh, a nuclear war, interplanetary war at one time. As in Sodom and Gomorrah and all that. Last year, plasma physicist Dr. John Brandenburg said he believed ancient Martians known as Sidonians and Utopians were massacred in the attack. Evidence of genocide can still be seen today. Back in 2011, scientists first postulated that red color on Mars could have been due to a naturally occurring thermonuclear explosion. Okay. So, this goes on and on. They sit there and deny, deny, deny his face on Sidonia and all that. I don't believe most of what we're told by the so-called authorities. Let's take a look at the actual picture. I have a little surprise for you. You're going to like it, I promise. Just wanted to show you the article. Okay, here's the picture. Now watch closely, boys and girls, as I, uh, bring up this, the shadows. It took me by surprise, too. Uh, just take a look in the circle. You see that green? <laughs> Duh! No wonder they wanted to call it an optical illusion. Uh, that's vegetation, people. No other way to describe it. I don't think it's water. It's vegetation. See? I'll put on the drawing tool again. There's a little patch right there. Of course, the main patch... It's all through here. There. Possibly something there.
You getting the picture yet? That's a forested area. And probably not uh, very large trees or anything. I don't know, but they're definitely trees or some kind of shrubbery. I mean, you can clearly see the color green. Take this down and see if I can show any more outside the circle. And again, more green, more green. This is life, folks. I don't care whether you like it or not. This is vegetation. You scream all day long. And you want to believe this is an atomic explosion going right ahead, but I don't see any evidence of it. What I am seeing here is vegetation. That's just from bringing up the shadows, because I wanted to see what was in the shadows, I was intrigued. It's a little bit more... Right there. Right above the arrow. Point is... What you're seeing here isn't a nuclear cell, it isn't. This plain simple is... Vegetation. You see deep dark green color. It would have to be a very dark uh, green color in order to uh, pick up enough light. Because the light on Mars is rather uh, scant, to say the least. Between dust storms and uh, plus the fact that it's, yet Mars gets half of the light that the Earth does. This is pretty cut and dried. I mean, we're seeing vegetation. Vegetation is green. When you look down on the earth and you see green patches, nobody questions that they're seeing vegetation. Nobody questions it. Because they'd be a stupid ass if they did. That's about it. Uh, why these assholes continue to lie, I don't know. Part of my English. This is clear cut evidence of life on Mars, and of course it's ignored. Maybe some of these uh, conspiracy theorists are actually trying to uh, keep people from seeing the truth about this. All I did was bring out the shadows. Uh, to see what was there. And I was not expecting to find vegetation in the photo. I was trying to figure out what the dark area was. Well, that's about it. Uh, this is life on Mars. It's blatantly obvious. It's green. I enhanced it. It's green, it's a forested area of some kind. It may not be exact forestation as we know it here, I don't know. But it is a forested area. Looking at that, I'd say that is a uh, game set match and tournament as far as whether there's life on Mars. There is. Of course, I've seen plenty of other examples, which I've pointed out. I'm Artifacts of Mars, thanks for watching. And remember, there is life on Mars and in the solar system. You are being lied to. That I'll agree with. I'm Artifacts of Mars.